So no matter who you are, where you're at, if you're alive on planet Earth right now, you're going to be riding the waves of transformation or plugging into the grid and being a channel for the light, a conduit, plugged in, grounded, receiving the light energy transmissions on a daily basis, feeling the activations, helping to support the ascension of our human evolutionary process. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you cannot avoid this process of change. It's so exciting and much needed. And it's all an inside job. No one out there is going to fix you. Because no one out there knows what you need. Only you know what you need. And so it's a journey of self-discovery. Because you may not know what you need right now. And you may think you need things that you don't need. Because your needs may be based around programs that you're running that are telling you what you need, conditioned um, programs, conditioned responses and actions, perceptions, attitudes, beliefs, etc. Rather than the real inner needs that you have. Making space to find out what you really need. It actually comes from, first of all, finding out who you really are. And that's the journey of now. Who are you? Are you who the people at work think you are or who your family think you are or who you think you are when you're overwhelmed and stressed and not coping? Is that who you are? Or are there other, other levels of you? Deeper levels. Levels that are maybe even a bit of a mystery to you because you never give them the space or time to be really seen by you. <laughs> or maybe you do give yourself the space and time and you have a kind of secret relationship with the truth of who you are. Maybe, maybe you know how important being true to yourself is and you value that more than anything else and you nurture that light within you that true authentic you and you give that you lots of love but you're too afraid to reveal that you as if you need to keep it safe maybe you don't trust anyone else with it maybe the world's not ready for you I don't know. You know. You know where you're at in this journey. You know whether you're alive and awake and open and plugged in and receiving the guiding energy of this awakening time with such a sense of devotion to the power that these planetary changes are bringing and your heart's wide open to it and you're like, yes, come on. This is what I've waited for. This is what I've longed for and we're here and we're in this together. And you can feel yourself holding hands with all those people around the globe that know this, that feel it resonating, tingling in every cell of their body being. Or you're not quite there yet. You want to be there. You sense it sometimes. You get a glimpse of it. You're like, that's me in my essence. That's who I came here to be. I came here to be true to me. To be a light. To work with these energies. To be awake wide awake, without fear, with absolute trust. Only you know where you're at. Maybe sometimes you don't know where you're at and that's okay too. Maybe sometimes it just all gets overwhelming. 
just get so stressful, you can get so lost in it all, especially when you start listening to too many people. Who cares what they think? Care what you think? Who cares what their, what their choices are? Make your own choices. Be true to you. The more you listen to other people, um, the more you will go into your mind with all of the conflicting thoughts within yourself, conflicting thoughts with other people, in relationship to the world at large, and you will create so much confusion, so much discord, so much conflict that you will deflate yourself. It's almost like, just pull the plug, there's nothing left. You've gone into overwhelm. You've gone into that space of inertia where you just can't do anything now. And if that's where you're at, that's okay too. Yeah, that's okay. They're all different states of being and we're experiencing it all. The awakening process is experiential. If you're not experiencing anything, even numbness, <laughs> then, then, then you're not alive right now, huh? You're alive, you're experiencing it. It's raw, it's real. It's all of it, it's everything. It's like waves, it's like a roller coaster. Sometimes it's as flat as a pancake. It's all of these things and more. And so wherever you are, just accept yourself where you're at currently. It's the first thing to do. Absolutely accept. Don't try and change it. Don't try and fix it. Don't try and ask someone else their opinion about it. Don't give your power away to anything or anyone, including me. <laughs> Find the space, yeah, just find the space, wherever that space is for you, quiet time, and just simply be with yourself, just be with yourself. Maybe your, your space and time in nature is important to you, perhaps that helps to ground you, open your energy make you feel more supported, more connected. You know what works best for you. And, and if you don't, then work that out. Find out that. Find out what feeds you on that deeper level, what makes your heart expand with love and joy and gratitude. And do more of that. Everything is about a vibrationary shift. It's all about the vibration right now. What vibration are you at? And it's changing. And we're looking to elevate the vibratory frequency of our overall consciousness, the consciousness of humanity. And so we're all part of that journey. We're learning to recognize what we're not and who we are. To recognize what raises our vibration and what drops us down. And so it's a time of exploration of true self and you need to provide yourself with the space in order to explore that, to experience that, to get a deeper connection to that. And that's sacred work. And that's what we're here to do. To find that inner light, to find that power and to bring it forward in all ways. And no matter where you are on your path, if you're new to this, or you've been on this journey for a whole lifetime, one thing is for sure, that there is always more opportunity for yet more inner light to emerge and to become grounded and integrated and available in more and more useful ways. So no matter where you are, you're on an ongoing journey of letting go of all that you're not, 
to awaken all that you are. There's no hurry. There's no rush. It's not a race. Accepting where you are is really valuable. Accept where you are. And go racing off, efforting, trying, giving all of your energy away to trying to fix everything. No. Space is the answer. It's all about the space. The vibration of the space which you create which you allow, which you offer, which you hold. What kind of space do you create for yourself? Is it a space of compassion? Are you kind to yourself? And are you kind to yourself sometimes? And then other times you're not. Are you kind to yourself when it's convenient for you to be kind? But when you're getting cross with yourself or you're critical of yourself or you're judging yourself then you're really unkind and you can't quite let go of that. And you just do that more and more and you create a space where that's all there is. So accept that if that's where you're at or wherever you're at. But acknowledge it. Try and hide from it or deny it or push it away. Go, ah, look, this is what I do. Be honest with yourself. Honesty. It's like if there were keys to the awakening process, you know, if there were certain kind of nuggets that the guiding intelligence and wisdom all around us that's working with us could give us, I'm sure that one of those nuggets would be self-honesty. To really be honest with ourselves about what we think, what we feel. Self-honesty is the key. And accepting where we're at with a space of compassion A space of self-honesty that doesn't punish or criticize, doesn't get angry. It just says, ah. Maybe give that a try. Let me know how you get on. Maybe write a comment. Love to hear from you.